Ah, video starting. Ah, uh, yeah, another dish. Know what the fuck happening? YouTube atheist community and stick and fun. Ugh, man, I'm tired. Um, anyway, um, yeah, it was a good night last night. Stick and I'll do that first. And uh, you know, um, yeah, it was it went pretty well. I mean, there really there wasn't too many trolls, and uh, the lag was not great, but it wasn't bad. And I don't know, it just really went smoothly. But it was, you know, I don't know. I got, um, <sighs> you know, I, was, I, was, I was just getting burned out, I think, so, and the conversation is getting so hard to have with some people, I mean, people either get it or they don't, I mean, it's, there's just no, um, there's nothing in between, there's nothing, it's not even in between, there's no, yeah, you either, get, you either you're either capable of getting it or you're not, I mean, you're either capable of questioning the origins, whoops, of our existence and the intelligence of it or the wisdom of it or, um, you know, recognizing that it is an imperfect creation and, uh, you know, there's substantial legitimacy, well, sorry, in, um, you know, questioning um, the efficacy of it. <laughs> efficacy. Um, uh, lots of words to use, I suppose. Um, I mean, you know, whether it's producing enough in general and whether it's producing it at, at a price that's acceptable even in the, even if it were producing, the, the fact that it does so at a guaranteed um, trespass, in a sense. I mean, it's you, you can't do the life game without... Um, in guaranteeing that you're going to be doing some imposing on people, that there's going to be people aren't going to be having, aren't going to live lives they value, and they're not going to thank you for the uh, the gift, and uh, that's just a fact. It's going to be an imposition, and so there's two questions: is is the imposition worth it? Let alone is the overall gift gifty enough? Um, when you add up all the other prices that go with it. So anyway, I don't want to get into that whole philosophical crap, but what else is there? I mean, this is like the, the most important question. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's one that's difficult to have a conversation about. What the hell is that bird doing over there? I think it's a bird. Bear. Anyway, <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So what else is there to mention? I mean, I did hear Coughlin um, uh, defended my video that Blip TV disposed of on Blog TV, and so that was really nice. I didn't see that or hear anything about it or any of that shit. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll post again a link to the couple of videos I have on the website. <laughs> and uh, you know the latest videos are pretty good uh, response videos to the um, whatever he is the the kid who thinks the amazing atheist has got some sort of book of truth and uh, the I don't know what that other guy is an insane blubbering tub of crap he did another video, actually, so I could respond to that, but I don't know if it's even worth the trouble. He's just looking for attention, it would seem. And he is just, he's just one of those those human beings with a preposterously inflated perception of himself. Um, so I guess in a way he should be torn down as often as possible. Um, Jedi Master Boo Boo, she actually did a video on whatever Boo Boo rules or some kind of channel, I don't know what it was. Um, it was pretty good summation of the circumstance and such. Um, yeah. So anyway, you know, where we go from here is, uh, you know, apropos of snow, did uh, he was in uh, the stick am last night? We did talk for a little bit. And it was, I think, a good conversation just about how the how we might be able to migrate these conversations into something more productive, you know, sort of like the pyro thing, the debate room thing, the even me and conference report, the exchanging of videos in some sort of more 
methodical manner, some sort of progressive manner, you know, where the conversation evolves and, uh, you know, maybe even forcing the issue in a sense. I mean, it's almost like sometimes you have to be obligated to continue the conversation um, to really get to it the conversation because people sort of bail out when they start getting uncomfortable and well I don't know if I really have a counter argument so I think I'll just slide on that one and you know I think a lot of that kind of crap happens so sometimes I think there has to be an obligation where people go into the fight or the debate knowing that they're not going to be allowed to just bail whenever they feel like it that they're going to have to show up and, and respond to people's argument and uh, the argument and uh, they're going to have to take their beating sometimes, you know, <laughs> they're going to have to actually uh, make their concession video. Um, but yeah, I mean, whether it's debate or conversation, um, put a little more art into it. I mean, the, the, the idea of a dinner with Andre, you know, that old movie came up. And that was sort of on my mind, just because that's sort of the joke I did on the last video with, about, with Fred, you know, my fag with Fred. Um, you know, it's just this idea of we've we've had this sort of intimate conversation uh, in a kind of a public way and uh, not that it's intimate but I mean philosophically intimate um, intimate in the sense that it's just us talking back and forth and uh, yeah so anyway there's value in all that crap so that stuff is good and we'll see yeah I'm just I, I'm just low energy today so this is not going to be a good video. I'm kind of feeling a bit tired of it all and sick of everything and blah 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 blah. But I, that happens a lot. You just get over it and tomorrow's another day and all that bullshit. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Uh, so, not much else. Karina just did a video on, you know, encouraging the poor little gay people not to get upset when the bullies pick on them in school and such, which is fine, um, but they really should be able to get, I mean, you know, it's the day of the internet, you know, it's a different world, really, so um, I really don't see it as the same kind of thing, you know, it's, it's a different world, you don't need your friends in school anymore, you don't need a lot of that whole social interaction, you can find people that you can respect and who will respect you um, somewhere on this earth you know through these mechanisms whether it's Facebook or whatever and people can connect with each other and, and um, support each other so I really don't think there's much excuse for somebody being lonely anyway uh, you know I mean that really shouldn't be possible I mean lonely in the sense that you don't have anyone to talk to or anyone to relate to You've got to be able to find somebody <laughs> as wacky as you on the internet. It's, the person's out there. Trust me. <laughs> so, um, it, I, I, I would just, yeah, it was a good video. I, nothing wrong. I'm just saying that I just don't have the same empathy I might have had 20 years ago for these whiners, you know, about being bullied at school. So it's getting a little whiny. Um, it, it was a lot worse you know when you were segregated and when you were beat up and when you were isolated you know in a world where there was no other world um, you know that was a lot harder I'm not saying just because it was harder we, hey, we walked five miles to you know get a bottle of fruit juice in our day you fucking pansies can't do anything and you know it's I'm not making that kind of argument I'm just saying I empathize but you know, there are a lot of people who are making, you know, this hysterical everything out there. People are hysterical about everything, and they overreact to everything, and one person commits suicide, and it's all of a sudden it's a social issue, and uh, there's a lot of drama bullshit. Uh, you know, the drama is controlling the thought agenda, and it has nothing to do with the real merits and the real things we should be worried about and the real crises is, is and the real civil rights issue or the real and instead it's just about you know where the celebrities are pointing people's eyes or some other kind of crap and that sort of bullshit I don't know, I think the cat agrees with that he just was making an agreeable face yes so anyway um yeah I think that'll be enough sorry it's kind of a 
pale video. Pale. Maybe I should black and white it. <laughs> yes, it's just kind of eh. Eh. Anyway. So, till the next time and such. And so forth. And whatnot. Yeah, I don't like this time of year. It's kind of eh, creepy. <laughs> yeah. Leaves are gonna start turning into shit, and everything's gonna turn into shit, and I don't know. I don't care for it. So anyway, ugh, that'll be it. The end. Flower. Finish up by a little music. Do 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 It's a godfather. That's not how it started, but that's where it headed. So anyway, oh look, a little little morning glory has grown up in the middle of the other flower, so it almost looks like it's part of them. That's kind of neat. Yeah, it looks like a mutant. All right, now I'm going. I'm moving forward towards the going position. All right, anyway, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Plants growing in my gutter. Oh, man, everything is so fucked up here. Look at all the mud wasps up there. Holy shit. All right, anyway, that's it. Until next time and such.